hey hi everyone welcome back to my tutorials so in this tutorial we will see one test case basically the test case is to find the number of links present on a particular web page okay so in this tutorial we will learn about a different locator that is tag name okay so this is the web page okay you can see this is myoclinic.org so from this web page we will find out how many links are available basically how many hyperlinks are available on this particular web page before moving to the selenium code let me just quickly show you that uh, these all are hyperlinks okay so how can we tell that this is a hyperlink okay let me inspect okay let me right click and click on inspect so as you can see this is starting with a tag that is a tag that means anchor tag okay so in our last uh, session we have understood about the tag okay different types of tag we have seen what is anchor tag and all okay so basically all the hyperlinks starts with a tag name that is anchor tag you can call it as a tag anchor tag so this is the first link as you can see the text given here is this one and this one and this one as i mouse overing on each and every link as you can see it is getting highlighted okay it's getting highlighted you see this getting highlighted so similarly we have to find out how many links are available on this particular web page so this is the web page okay even this is a link okay this is a link if i right click on this you can see this is a link is starting with a tag okay so this is the text of the particular text request an appointment okay so let's find out let's find out how many links are available on this particular web page for that i'm going to create a class let me give a class name call let me give a class name find links this is my class name so here i'm going to write my test code so i'm going to write the code within proper uh, test ng format okay that's why i have not declared public static void main so i'm going to start with uh, annotation that is before test okay so i will write at the rate before test okay so here i have to declare a method public void setup or something i can give because i need to set up my driver and i have to create the object for the chrome driver i have to initialize web driver so all these things i'll put inside this setup method under before test okay let me import this so yeah so i will go with uh, because i have already set up web driver manager so i'm not going to use system.set property i'm not going to use external.exe file okay i'm going to use web driver manager web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay so if you have not seen my uh, previous tutorial on web driver manager so you can go and uh, please have a look at that particular video so you will get an idea of what is web driver manager okay it is always recommended to use the web driver manager instead of system that set property because it rules out the dependency of this chrome driver exe file okay so you always go with web driver manager so now let me uh, create web driver driver equal to new chrome driver so let me import chrome driver class also and this line about this line also i have created a separate video so you can go and watch that okay basically i have uh, created the object of the chrome driver class by giving the reference to the web driver uh, so now let me uh, get the url also that would be my driver.get so basically uh, i am going to use a myo clinic url right so let me open that so this is going to be my url okay so let me also maximize the window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay so yeah this line will maximize my window of the browser okay so now my setup is done okay now in the test method what i'm going to write here is so public void total links okay this is going to be my method name so inside that i'm going to write my code to find the total number of links on this particular web page okay before that okay so on this particular page as i said there are so many links available it is not that only one link is available right there are so many links available this is link this is link this is link even this is one this one is also linked right so basically one web page is having so many links and all the links are starting with a tag that is a okay if that kind of scenario comes up whenever we need to find uh, something from a web page which is having similar kind of tag name or any other value or something like that so we always need to go with 
find elements okay so far we have seen we have understood what is driver dot find element find element is used to find a single element but so driver dot find element is to deal with multiple elements with the similar type okay so basically here we are using anchor tag so because there are so many hyperlink with the tag a is available so that will come under multiple elements okay multiple elements of similar type so we have to go with driver dot find elements okay so all these elements we have to store in the form of list of web elements okay list of web elements so let me before uh, writing driver dot find elements so let me do one thing let me declare it uh, globally okay because i'm using a test block so it will not be able to reach this test block otherwise so i have to let me just uh, copy this and i'll put here okay so i'll put here and this part is yes, go ahead okay so now i'll type because as I said uh, that I have to find all the common elements. The common elements is basically nothing but the hyperlinks starting with tag A. I will find those by driver dot find elements. Okay, driver dot find. I have to use find elements because I am going to deal with multiple elements with the similar type that is with type tag A. Okay, so let's go with find elements. Okay, so we have by dot in this case we are going to go with one more locator that is tag name okay so far we have seen the other locators in our previous tutorials so here we are going to use a new locator that is tag name okay to implement this test case let's go with tag name so what is the tag name tag name is a okay so this is the tag name a anchor tag so as i said this is going to be dealing with uh, the similar type okay that's why we are using find elements that's why we have to store all these similar web elements in a list of web elements. For that, let me type uh, list. Okay, then I will go with web element. Okay, then let me give here total links. Okay, then let me import this and let me import the web element as well. Okay, so basically I'm storing all the a tags in this list of web elements okay my job is to find the total number of links available okay so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to find int count okay because i'm going to find the integer value right my result is going to be in the form of integer value okay that's why i'm giving integer count and this variable and there's a method that is dot SIZB size okay with the help of this method I'm going to get the total count of the links okay total count dot size okay this I'm storing in a count variable okay in integer form so now let me let me write total number of links available on the web page okay so let me put this here so let me run the code now okay i'm going to run the code to this is going to launch the myoclinic.org website okay as you can see it is launching and it will maximize the window now after that it is actually finding the total number of links with the help of those three lines of codes okay so let me see the result now yeah so test is complete so now let us see what is the total number of links available on this particular web page yeah so as you can see the number of links available on the web page is 209 okay total 209 links are available on this particular web page okay so that is what we are getting in account so now uh, let's see we will go one more step further we will try to find out which are those links actually we have got the count but we are not sure which are those links basically we are going to find out the text of those particular links okay for example this is one text this is one text this is one text okay this is the text myo clinic patient and visitor updates so this is the text we are going to get okay so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use because uh, all the 209 links right so these are all stored in index okay like zero index first index second index like that it is okay so we are going to get the text of all these uh, particular web elements index and we will print it here for that i have to use a loop i'm going to use for loop okay so we know the size right what is the size we know is 209 
so i am going to put this uh, particular loop for this total number of count i have and we will print text of each of the links okay so i am going to use for loop is our i equal to 0 then i am going to look for my count then i will increment the value okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the text of the links so let me do one thing let me print because i'm going to print all this text of the links so here i'm going to get of index okay in these are index so as I, as I said all these values are stored in index zeroth index first index second index like that so i'm going to go with get of index that means my i value okay and i'm going to get the value of every index then get text okay so i'm going to use get text get text method of this linear web driver so what this loop will do is so basically as i said we have the total size that is 209 so the loop is starting with i equal to 0 okay and it will continue until this condition is satisfied okay and for a 0 i the value is 0 0 less than equal to 209 the value the count okay and it will basically come here okay and it will print get of i means get of 0 dot get of text okay the zero index value will be printed so whichever the links is there in the zero index that index link will be printed along with the text of the particular link okay so once that is printed and then it will go to the next index okay that is one i equal to one so again it satisfy the condition okay uh, so it will again print the value of get of one dot get text so whichever the link whichever the link is available in the first index so that links text will be printed okay so similarly this loop will continue until this condition okay so it will increment i plus plus okay so now let us run this code so let me close this manually because i have not used driver to quit okay so let me click on run so i'm running the code again so this is launching the website myoclinic.org okay now it will uh, so let us see now see as you can see this is printing the text okay this is printing the text yeah so you see this yeah so the web page is launched then it has first it has given the count that is 209 because from this uh, particular three lines of code then the for loop executed and it started printing the text of those hyperlinks okay so let us verify okay first link is this one then second one this one and third one this one so this one this one and myo clinic patient and visitor updates okay so after that as you can see it has gone to log into patient account so that means this one log into patient account then it has gone to english that is this one okay then let's see what has printed next okay so uh, next is request an appointment so that means this one request an appointment then uh, log into patient account log into patient account then this one this one okay then learn more about myo clinic that is uh, this one so similarly it has printed so many links text okay as you can see this test is pass so these are all the links okay these are the text of those hyperlinks okay so what we have understood so we have basically achieved that test case how to find the number of links available on a particular web page so we have got the count that is 209 with the help of this uh, three lines of code that means we have got the count of that particular uh, web elements by storing it in a list of web elements with the help of this dot size method okay after that we have started with the for loop to get the text of those particular hyperlinks okay so these are all printed here so that's how we can make use of the locator that is tag name okay so now we have seen the tag name locator for a, a tag okay similarly we can use this uh, tag name for different types of uh, tags also for example input img okay there are so many tags available on a particular web page okay when you inspect you will come to know how many types of tags are available okay so this is why we use tag name basically in our selenium code okay
and we also have learned about the new concept that is uh, what is list of web element okay we will see about this more when we are uh, doing our next uh, test cases in our upcoming tutorials okay so but this is how we can basically store similar kind of elements in a list of web elements okay so yeah that's all about this particular uh, tutorial i hope you have understood the topic okay so if you have any questions any doubt please drop those in the comment section and if you have liked the video please hit the like button and uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'll come up with a new topic okay thank you thanks for watching